It's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold this past week. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, Facebook Marketplace. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, player, and I love Disney. So these are my normal what sold videos. I do these every Friday. I let you know mostly what I sold across the board. Um, I am going to include my ThreadUp sales. I've been trying to pay attention to those. I know I had a couple of people say they would like to see those, so I kept track of those for you guys to let you know how my sales were on there, as well as Facebook Marketplace. So we are just going to get into it. If you like reseller content, like what sold videos, thread up unboxings, thrift hauls, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below with the bell next to it. That way you get notifications every time I put out a new video. Give this a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, Marketplace. So I'm just now able to start listing back on Marketplace again. Oh my gosh, sorry, my eyes are itchy. I just woke up and I'm trying to get this filmed before everybody else wakes up in the house and I'm going to go thrifting. Maybe this light is a little bright. Okay, that's better. That's better. I feel like I was squinting. Anyway, I'm just able to list back on Facebook Marketplace again. They had suspended me temporarily because I had canceled too many orders. In my opinion, it wasn't even that many orders. It was like three or four in a couple of months. So really make sure if you are on there that you get on there and delete those items right away if you sell them on a different platform so that doesn't happen to you. Okay, so on Facebook Marketplace, I just had a couple of sales this week. The first one were a pair of Harley Davidson black leather Ashby motorcycle riding boots. These sold super quick for me and they sold for $50. And then the next ones were a pair of Ugg Coquette. I don't know how I'm saying that. Chestnut brown shearling suede slip-on slippers. These also sold for $50 super quick, like within an hour. So not very many, but two good sales. Let me do my thread up sales next. I actually have been just screenshotting them all week. So I'll be able to put those up on the screen for you guys. Um, I made a couple of videos and I put them on my Instagram about my best recent thread up sales. And I've had some people ask me how I'm getting labels. I just use another email. I don't know how long that's going to keep working, but as long as it does, I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the sales that I had this week. And yeah, some of the percentages are off because people can use coupons, but I'll let you know what I sold it for and what my payout was. First was a Bailey 44 casual dress. I don't have very much luck selling this myself. It sold for $90.99 and I got a payout of $39.25. So a lot of these things I sent into ThreadUp are either things I don't do very good myself selling or it's just things I got for 99 cents. Here comes Ellie. Come here, Ellie. Let's see if Ellie wants to come in. Ellie, say hi. Ellie, say hi, Ellie. Say hi. There she is. Hi. Good morning. Okay, so it's either stuff that I just got for 99 cents, stuff that doesn't typically sell very well for me, um, or just stuff I've known from experience that does well on there. Next was a W by Worth Blazer. This sold for $60.99, and I got a payout of $22.33. Next was a Talbot's Wool Cardigan. It was red. It sold for $90.99. I got a payout of $39.75. That's crazy, and that's weird. My Talbot's doesn't usually do that good on ThreadUp. Next was a Lovers and Friends swimsuit bottom. It sold for $34.99 and I got a payout of $5.52. So the lower you sell things for, the lower your percentage is. Let me turn off my sound. Um, I had a whole bunch of new tag swimsuit bottoms from a while ago and I wasn't selling them. So just put them into thread up. I also sent them my stale inventory. Next was an Ann Taylor cardigan. This only sold for $20.99 and it sold, and I got a payout of $2.61. So um, if it's not like a luxury or designer brand, you get 60 days to sell it. So I will start lowering my prices usually every 10 days or so. And then once it gets to like 15 or 10, I'll do it every one or two day just to try to get something from it. But what's really great is when, um, it sells before I lower the price, because I always put them as high as it can go, which is 80% off retail according to them. So I make a lot of really good sales that way. Next was a unique low long sleeve button down shirt. This 
Sold for $21.99, giving me a payoff of $2.47. This was something that was stale inventory of mine. This Lucky Brand Pullover Sweater sold for $36.99, giving me a payoff of $8.70. I paid $0.99 cents for that at a thrift store specifically to send the thread up. So even though it's not a ton of profit, I didn't have to do any work, and that all adds up. Next was a Rebecca Taylor long sleeve blouse. This is an example of one that sold for the full, the highest price I could put it at. It sold for $160.99, and I got a payout of $91.83. That's amazing. I never would have sold it for that much and made that much money on my own. I sold this Lauren by Ralph Lauren casual dress. It sold for $105.99, and it gave me a payout of $51.90. I sold this cabbie cardigan. This sold for $31.99, giving me a payout of $5.38. And then I sold this brand Brayton. I don't really know about this. I just know I got it at thrift store for a, a buck. Sold for $47.99, and I got a payout of $13.92. So those are my thread up sales. Let me know if you like seeing those, hearing about those, and I will keep putting those in here. Let's go on to eBay. My eBay was picking up a little bit. I know before it had been really slow, so. I'm hoping it continues to keep like picking up and making like regular sales. So let's go back to that Friday, which was Christmas Eve. The first thing I sold on eBay were the pair of Brooks white pink running shoes in a size 10 and a half. These actually I got at a thrift store. I wore them myself for a while and then I sold them. They did have a pretty good amount of wear. So I let them go for $15 plus shipping. Next is a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under High Rise Full On Extreme Graffiti Leggings. These sold for $50. I sold this Torrid Women's Gray Cardigan Sweater in a size 1X. This sold for $25.88, my full asking price. Next is a pair of Vionic Robin Laser Cut Metallic Flats. These sold pretty quickly, I think within a day, for $35.88. Next was a new Lauren Ralph Lauren black puffer coat or puffer vest, I should say. I don't normally ever get this brand, but it was new with tags and a good style and it sold for $39.50. Next was a pair of Can Can Dark Wash Button Fly Skinny Jeans. These were in a size 24, so small sizes definitely do sell and they sold for 20. Next was a Lane Bryant Floral Blazer in a size 22. I got a ton of Lane Bryant recently at a thrift store and it sold for $30. Then I sold these Victoria's Secret VSX Geometric Knockout Leggings in a size large. They sold for $16.88. And then just a couple things I need to ship out this morning. One was a Pottery Barn Kids Luxe Velvet Crib Skirt. I had this actually for a really long time. I got them a while ago. I got a whole bunch of Pottery Barn Kids stuff for $0.99. Cents, and I'm still just sitting on a couple of things. This sold for $20. Next was a new Beyond Yoga Black mesh tank top and a size medium. This sold for $35. And then I sold the soft surroundings, multi-print hooded tunic top and a size 1X, and that sold for $22.25. So those are my eBay sales, pretty good, getting better. Let's move on to Mercari. Okay, Mercari, I didn't have too many sales this week, but I did have some good ones even though they were low. First was a pair of Rock Revival Betty Bootcut Jeans. These sold for $52. Next was a St. John Marie tan cardigan sweater i just picked this up recently at a thrift store and it sold for 90 which is amazing i sold these prada black leather heels these came to me in a thread up designer box and they sold for 68 and then i sold this cabbie gray cow neck pullover sweatshirt this sold for 24. another thing from the thread up designer box salvatore ferragamo black heels i priced them at 35 because of the old style and the wear that they had and they sold super quick. I figured if I priced them higher, I possibly could get more money, but they would take longer to sell. These I priced at 35, they sold in a day. That's fine with me. Let's move on to Poshmark. The first thing I sold on Poshmark were these Born boots. These came to me in a thread up shoe box. They were the Basil Distressed Knee High boots in a size eight and a half wide, and they sold for $55. Next is a pair of Lucky Brand boots. These were the Berkeley style. I've had these actually for a really long time. Someone offered me 13, so I was glad to get rid of them. Next is a pair of Converse Jack Purcell sneakers. They were white men's. Um, they did kind of have some spots I couldn't get out, and so I sold them super quick for $22. These also sold very quickly. They were Athleta Wide Leg Avenue Black Pants. These sold for an offer of $25. Next was a pair of new PacSun Light Wash High Rise Mom Shorts. These sold for $14. 
I sold these Judy Blue black high-rise denim stretch jeans. These were in a size 2X and they sold for 25. Next was a Bowden long sleeve black jumpsuit and that sold for 28. I sold this torrid black white striped cold shoulder swimsuit cover up and that sold for $20. Next was an Eileen Fisher coral short sleeve t-shirt dress that sold for $25. Next, I sold a pair of Matisse boots. These were brown leather western cowboy boots, and they sold for $45. I sold these Levi's 7-Eleven mid-rise skinny jeans. They sold for $20. These Ariat jeans sold super quick. They were the Spitfire western horseback riding denim jeans. That's just all the keywords that I used. They sold for $25. Next was a Coach brown British leather braided belt. I think this came to be in a thread up fun box, and that sold for $20. I sold this new Lane Bryant multicolor short sleeve cardigan. This was in a size 22 and it sold for $40. Next is a pair of Doc Martin style 8542 black leather vintage boots and they sold for $72. I sold this new Jillian O'Malley blue chambray sleep shirt for 12. That came to me in a thread up fun box. I sold this polo raw floor and plaid long sleeve top for men came to me in a thread up men's box a super long time ago and that sold for seven. I sold these Justin boots. They were kids size four and they sold for 35. Next was a Kate Spade gray leather bow crossbody purse. This came to me in a thread up name brand handbag box and that sold for 30. Next was the brand Hell Bunny Vixen Navy Blue Sailor Halter mini dress. This sold for 18. I sold this American Eagle favorite boyfriend jeans in a size 10 for 19. Then I sold these mod cloth partial to point tail striped sweater this was in a size extra large. That sold for me for $17. I sold these Under Armour gray slip-on street and counter casual shoes. I actually bought these for my husband, thinking maybe he would like them, but he didn't. Uh, so I still went ahead and sold them for 20 bucks. Next was a Scottish Highland black utility kilt. I thought this was really interesting. I've never found a kilt before in a thrift store and someone bought it for a full asking price of $40. Next is a pair of Lululemon black mid-rise crop leggings. I could not find the style on these, but I actually didn't try very hard. They weren't newer. They didn't have the style number around the dot, so I just used my own keywords, and they sold within a couple of days for $25. And the last thing I sold was super quick last night on Poshmark. It was an Ariat Gray Heat Series Laguna hooded top. This sold for $25 within about five minutes. So that is my sales for this week. I hope your guys' sales have been good. Let me know below how are they doing since Christmas is over Hopefully they're picking back up for you. Do you guys make New Year's goals? I don't really ever do that, but let me know if you do and drop them down below. It'd be interesting to hear what your reselling goals are for the new year. I hope you have a good weekend. Stay safe, be smart, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.